Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here and I'm gonna try to get things squared away for the high tunnel. And the first thing I need in the high tunnel is water. That's one of the issues that I've run into is not having enough water out there. So I'm going to try to clear that area out where the ramp pump is, get the ramp pump back up and running. So then we can fill up the 450 gallon tank so there is an old poultry electric netting fence around the edge of that that i need to remove then i'm going to remove the pvc that's in there and then i'm going to try to burn and clear that out uh, but safety first i'm going to get some garden hose hook it up to the frost free hydrant that i have over here that i installed this last november and i'm going to run it over there so i have it and can be safe um, now's the time to clear out that brush um, and get rid of the tall weeds and uh, get it all squared to go. So uh, thanks for coming along and hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to go ahead and let the sheep out on the paddock. But I gotta make sure that Marshall doesn't get through, otherwise he will um, just run out to the front porch. Actually, I'm gonna have to close the far gate so that the sheep will be contained to this paddock. Over here is the water tank that I wanna fill up with water from the ram pump. And then that other tank is for rainwater when I eventually put a gutter on. Pretty much I want to get it situated. Once it's full of water, there is going to be no moving it. So now that aims, oh, let me rotate this way. Aims a little bit better towards the high tunnel. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just sort of get paralyzed by all of the things that need to get done in order to reach the end goal. Um, so that's why I'm breaking this down into bite size and just thinking through uh, the items that I need in place before completing the next task. That's a blown over outhouse that one day I plan on rebuilding because it'd be pretty convenient to have a outhouse all the way in the back four acres. So I'm headed over here to close this gate so that the sheep don't go through that and interfere with me cleaning up the ram pump area. Look at who's waiting for me to let them in the pasture. And if Buttercup comes over, I'll let her in the pasture. But the reason why Marshall 
can't be in the pasture right now is because I don't have the perimeter fence marshal proofed yet. So, let's see. Now last night I ended up deworming the entire flock. So, they should be good. Good job, good job. Everyone's here. Well, buttercup missed the opportunity. Now I gotta go over and make sure this gate is shut. And they will have this whole area to roam. Taking the time and building their infrastructure, we lucked out and the perimeter of the property had high tensile electric fence. So we didn't have to put that in, which was nice. Now, this year I plan on building some temporary fencing to sort of break it up so that they're forced to, they're forced to eat uh, the grass in the area that they're provided instead of just eating their favorite grass. Okay, so this is what I need to remove. I had put this here a while so that the sheep would not mess with it and it's just becoming a mess. So I need to remove that. I wanted to use this as an opportunity to sort of give an update on the True Works uh, pants that I have. They are great. They're snag resistant. There's a whole bunch of thickets down there and I didn't have to worry about my legs getting, uh, the pants getting holes in them and stuff from the thickets and thorns. Uh, now my hand on the other hand, I got poked a little bit. But uh, yeah, I've been very impressed with these pants. The stains, for the most part, wash right out and they end up looking great. Uh, looking like brand new the next day and the day after. Uh, so definitely check out the link in the description and you can get your True Work uh, pants as well. So the next thing I need to do is pull out all of this PVC pipe and stuff so it doesn't get melted when I light this on fire.
And now you just need to knock this over. I need to direct the water over it. So I'm gonna get a little stick. This piece should work. Now thorns. I'm going to try to walk up the other side for a moment so I can get this barrel out of the way. Here is the inlet pipe. I feel like there was a board or something. I see a bucket down there. I'll... There we go. That should work. some holes in the bottom of that. I think this will do the trick. Wow, that was way harder than it should have been. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out this line uh, so it doesn't get melted. Get all of the rest of the stuff out of there. And then I'll burn my uh, perimeter because definitely don't want it going over that way. So what I'll do is I'll burn a line over here and then snuff it out and then I'll burn the line up here snuff it out and then I'll work from this side going over so hopefully that works well we don't have to call the fire department okay we're about ready for show time I added uh, another extension to the hose and got it all ran out and then I'm going to spray probably about 15 feet worth of space to get the water wet I mean the ground wet 
and then we should be good to go. Gonna fire that up. So the hose goes all the way around there and over to the other side. Okay, so that's where it's a little wet. Okay, I'm gonna stomp that out. get the garden hose Okay, so I'll let that burn into there a little bit.
I would say this burnt excellent. Uh, I'll still have to come in and trim all these thickets down, but definitely cleared it out a lot. That's all for one day. Um, the next step is getting the stuff to be able to build the inlet over there, run just the pipe through so that then it goes down. I'm gonna try to see about one inch poly because I like the rigidity of that to at least get it going. And then if I need to add more inserts, I'll just put another inlet over here and just run the pipe through. And then that should be a pretty clean way of getting the ram pump back up and running. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to try to upload more consistently in a vlog format uh, to just sort of document the process on getting the high tunnel back up and running. And our goal this spring is to full capacity grow in the high tunnel. But before that can happen, I got a secure water source. Um, and then when I put the plastic on, we're going to put a gutter along one side so we'll be able to capture rainwater. And then we'll have pond water uh, via the ram pump. So uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be on the lookout for those other videos. Have a great day.